Hello there, my name is Pavol Stelmoch and now we'll unveil the top news of recent days. Ukrainian film 20 Days in Mariupol won the Oscar as the best documentary film of 2023. This is the first Ukrainian film in all 32 years of independence to receive the most influential award. But as director Mstislav Chernov said, he would like this film not to be made at all. And every Ukrainian, as well as an ordinary humanist citizen of this planet, would probably wish that this film did not exist. That Russia never attacked Ukraine, never occupied our cities. I wish to give all the recognition to Russians not killing tens of thousands of my fellow Ukrainians. I wish for them to release hostages, all the soldiers who are protecting their land, and all the civilians who are now in their jails. Mstislav Chernov, film director at the 96th Academy Awards ceremony. I cannot imagine how difficult it was for Smirnov to speak these words from the stage about the Ukrainian city that is currently under occupation. I cannot imagine how to understand that the city is surrounded and it is not known when it will be possible to return to it. And to understand that your city will not be the same as it was before. After all, the rabbit neighbor destroyed it and continues to destroy it as well as change its appearance for his propaganda purposes. After all, I would not have been able to go to the seat in Mariupol after an aerial bomb was dropped on it when people were hiding in the basement. We can change history, we cannot change the past, but we can make the truth prevail and the people of Mariupol and those who gave their lives will never be forgotten, because cinema creates memories and memories form history. France is preparing for a high-intensity conflict in Europe, wrote Politico. French troops are preparing for a high-intensity conflict in Europe against an enemy that can match their firepower. Politico reports this. Officers are not naming potential enemies, but uh, the exercise is aimed at preparing troops to fight an adversary similar to Russia. Ukraine's main lesson, according to training center officers, is to avoid frontal attacks that cause huge casualties and fail to push back the enemy. But infantry, armor, engineers and artillery combined with new technologies such as drones that transmit information back to troops and provide lethal force on the battlefield must work together. The French military has said that armies that fail to combine tank artillery and infantry forces are at great risk, as demonstrated by both sides of the war in Ukraine. I would like to remind you that the French Ministry of Defense previously reported that until December 31st, 2023, it provided Ukraine with military equipment and materials for the armed forces in the amount of more than 2.6 billion euros. The aid provided includes small arms, personal protective equipment, air defense systems, artillery, armored vehicles, sea boats, trucks, drones, aviation, fuel, etc. In some cases, the number of transferred units is classified. This applies to Krotal, Aster and Skalp missiles. In addition, about 10,000 Ukrainian defenders were trained with the support of Paris. I spoke with French President Macron. The conversation lasted more than an hour. I am grateful to Emmanuel for his new initiatives in support of Ukraine, for his leadership, which gives all of us in Europe strengths. I am grateful for the new defense package. We discussed the schedule and key extended results of our upcoming meeting in Ukraine. Some may say that Russia will not attack NATO countries, but by February 2022, many believed that the Kremlin would not dare to openly escalate against an independent country. And as the Minister for Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, Dmitry Kuleba, said, those who do not believe in the aggression of the Russian Federation against NATO should read history and listen to Putin. He has already stated that Ukraine was invented by Lenin, although Queen Anne of France was the Kiev princess, and the first constitution of Pelip Orwik in Europe was concluded with the Ukrainian Cossacks. And now Putin has said that Belgium was formed thanks to the Russian Tsars. At this rate we will soon find that California and Alaska must also be returned because the sale agreement was concluded wrongly. Today our partners need to put aside fear and indecision, overcome internal differences and make strong decisions that will provide Ukraine with everything it needs. Otherwise, they will have to make decisions of another scale to save their own people and cities. 
Great Britain's intelligence has analyzed how attacks by Ukrainian drones on facilities in the Russian Federation affected Russia's oil refining industry. In the intelligence review of the British Ministry of Defense was written that it is likely that the oil refining capacity of the Russian Federation was temporarily reduced due to numerous strikes by Ukrainian drones on oil refineries throughout Russia. Analysts recall that on March 1, 2024, the Russian Federation introduced a six-month ban on the export of gasoline to stabilize prices on the domestic market against the backdrop of growing demand. The ban on exports will reduce supply pressure and allow Russia to carry out repairs at its refineries. However, according to intelligence, repairs will most likely take longer than usual as Western sanctions prevent the import of some necessary components to the Russian Federation. And the Russian government will be particularly sensitive to rising prices for gasoline and other everyday goods ahead of Vladimir Putin's presidential election on March 15th to 17th. Even in Russia, they recognize problems with the oil industry. The central bank recorded a sharp drop in income of oil and gas companies at the beginning of the year. The first two months turned out to be disastrous for oil and gas industry as follows from the central bank's monitoring of industry financial flows. This is a clear reflection of the decline in export prices at the end of last year. The lag between deliveries and receipt of payment for them is usually up to two months. Not only prices are decreasing, but also the volumes of oil and gas exports. As part of the OPEC Plus deal, Russia will further reduce oil production as well as exports of oil and petroleum products. How strange that problems with gasoline began in a gas station country. But for ordinary Russians, they will explain that these are the consequences of a conspiracy of old capitalists and not a war started by the Kremlin. That concludes our today's video. Thank you for watching. Stay updated, comment, like and subscribe to our UETV English channel for more news from Ukraine. Your support is that really matters. Goodbye.